book addicts my name is Bobby and today I'm coming at you with a kind of chatty video and kind of a ranty video first off I had a vlog I did a vlog all last week and a little bit in the beginning of September and it was a good vlog I had footage of my daughter playing soccer I had footage of my daughter playing with our cat like all good footage and I've lost it all now um, first I had it and it was on my phone because I tend to film my vlogs on my phone and I went to upload it onto my computer. Now, I have an Apple iPhone. I do not have an Apple computer. I have a laptop that's a Dell, it's, so it's just a regular computer, nothing fancy. And, um, yeah, my computer decided to be a dick. And before, it was fine, and I could upload, but it was very slow. Like, it would recognize the phone, and but you could only do, like, one or two clips at a time. Otherwise, it would quit and say, can't find, you know, no device detected or whatever. No problem has no problem taking the videos off of my camera, but it struggles with my phone. So I spent over three hours the other day going through it and, like, trying to get it. I got, like, three of the 13 clips to upload. Like, I was getting really frustrated, and, like, I had to go to bed. I had to work a graveyard. And so yesterday I was like, okay, well, since... I have an iPad. Maybe if I use my iPad, like, and use iMovie, which I don't use because I have um, an HP, I use Wondershare, Wondershare Filmora, say that ten times fast, to edit my videos. So it's like, well, I don't really know how to use iMovie, but it's pretty easy to use and it's pretty user friendly. So what if I um, do that? What if I use, you know, iMovie and I will edit the clips because all the clips that are on my phone are also on my iPad because they're linked. So if I do that, and I use the thumbnail, um, the same program I used to do my thumbnail. I, you can get it in an app. I could do that. Granted, it doesn't have as many features as it does on the desktop, but I can at least create a semi-decent thumbnail with a selfie and, you know, try to get, you know, just try to get the vlog up. Like, I just wanted to get the vlog up, and I was tired of fighting with my computer. Well, all of a sudden, like, I got it all edited on iMovie. I got it saved to the iPad. So I'm like, okay. Um, and then I go to, like, upload it, and it, like, I tried to save, oh, I, the selfie that I took, I was trying to s wait for it to update and be on my iPad, because I took it with my phone, and it wasn't there, and then the photo said, oh, well, you need to, um, like, your iCloud's full, you need to delete some stuff, so it permanently deleted all of my clips from my vlog, so all I was left with was the edited version from iMovie, and no, like, the clips are gone, so I can't even try to re-upload them onto my computer. My only option is to try to find a way to get the edited vlog, which is 48 minutes long, that's in video form on my iPad to try to somehow get it to show up on my phone, and I don't know if there's any way to actually do that. I think I'd probably have to try to email it, maybe. Like, I have no idea. There's, I don't think there's any way. Maybe... If it's in the cloud, like, I can try to pull it. For, I don't know. I have to still fuck with it. But I'm panicking because normally a video goes up today or tomorrow. And at this point, I've got nothing. I've tried uploading it on YouTube from my iPad, like, going to the desktop and uploading it that way. And it keeps stopping. Like, it gets, like, halfway through the upload and it just says upload aborted. And it doesn't tell me why. No fucking idea why. So, as of right now... You're not getting that vlog, which makes me really, really upset because I really liked that vlog. It was really good. Um, so I guess now I'm just going to scrap it, and which really upsets me and pisses me off. Um, I'm just going to scrap it, and I will. I don't know if from now on I just need to do vlog clips on my camera, which I don't really like doing because I can't see myself. So I, you know, I well, I guess I film my camera anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. But I like the vlog style like on the phone where it feels more real life instead of like my normal sit down videos but whatever because I like vlogging and I find it enjoyable and I'd like to do more but my f I don't want to spend the money to buy a fucking Mac computer just so that my iPhone will be more recognizable or either that or there's something wrong with the computer now where it can't recognize my phone I Urgh, I'm just really frustrated or maybe now what I need to do is after every couple of clips upload them onto my computer instead of trying to do a whole bunch at once. Maybe that, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyways, but aside from that, 
it is my booktube anniversary. So my booktube anniversary today is the 12th, I think. Where's my phone? Uh, yeah, today's September 12th. My booktube anniversary is September 15th. So on Sunday, it'll be one year for me on booktube, which is insane. I can't believe I've been doing this for a year. It feels like a month still, but I'm really excited. It's, I mean, it's not like anybody throws a party for you or nothing. It's just like, it's exciting that I've made it this far, that I'm still enjoying it, that I'm, I've met so many awesome people and being a subscriber to other channels, like you can make friends with the booktubers. It's just a little bit harder. Um, cause I'm, you know, like with Vicky, like I got to know her a little bit just being a subscriber, but the second I made my own channel and like, then we could buddy read and do stuff together. It, the friendship moved a little faster. I know some booktubers who their best friends are their, some of their subscribers who don't have booktube. They just, they just talk to them all the time like through their social medias or commenting on their videos and stuff like that. And I've met a lot of good friends through booktube, like Cody, Becca and Gavin. They're both all amazing people all over in the UK, but still also very amazing. Vicky, like I met a couple subscribers, Cindy and Monica, who are really awesome. Um, just, it's just nice. It's fun. I love this community. Like it's, I found so many books that I would have never, ever read if it wasn't for booktube. Um, most of the books on my shelf now, I would have never read if it wasn't for booktube. It's, it's kind of crazy how that works. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. But I mean, that's about it. Just yay. One year on booktube and apologizing for not having my vlog. I'm still going to try to see if I can salvage it and make my iPad post it. But I, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can, I, <sighs> I'm just really upset about it. I'm upset about everything. But for my one year anniversary, I want you guys to choose something for me to do. Do you guys want a Q&A? Do you want like a book recommendations? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really care. I wasn't planning on really doing anything. I was just going to keep plugging along, doing my own thing. But I know a lot of booktubers usually do that. They celebrate their one year or two years. Like every milestone they hit, they tend to celebrate with some kind of special video. So I'm going to let you guys choose what that special video is. Do you want a Q and A? Do you want something else? Please let me know in the comments below. What would you, what you would like? If you guys decide if you are choosing Q and A or if that's something that you want, so I don't have to make another video for this. If you guys, if your vote is Q and A, please post some questions in like, I want a Q and A and then questions you want to ask so that I don't have to make another video to try to do it because that's it's it just makes it one less thing I have to do make it a little easier on me please um but yeah and if you if something else gets more votes like either book recommendations um god what else a review like if you want to review on something anything else like that if that wins then I'll do it like I just want to do something fun and acknowledge that hey I've been here a year and I'm really enjoying it and still having a lot of fun but I guess really quick before I go I'll kind of go over like in a nutshell what happened in the reading vlog so you guys kind of understand. Um, buddy reading Brent Weeks, or Brent Weeks, The Black Prison by Brent Weeks with Cindy and Monica, or I started with Cindy and Monica. Cindy has since dropped out because she felt she couldn't connect with the characters and me and Monica are continuing. I'm not that far into it. I got behind on my buddy read and I'm trying to catch up and I got behind because of Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. I have already read this book five stars. It is fucking amazing. And that's what upsets me about the vlog is I was doing the vlog while I was reading Dark Dawn. So there's no there was no spoilers at all. It was just my reaction and like how guttural I felt while reading it. But if I can't get that to post, you guys aren't going to get that. And that really makes me sad. Um, but yeah, I read Dark Dawn. It was fucking amazing. It was everything I could have hoped for and more. And the most important part of the vlog, which is the whole reason I started it to begin with, was the vlog was supposed to be my vlog for the Night Circus, my um, booktube darlings vlog for the Night Circus. Um, yeah, I DNF'd this. It, this book was terrible. Um, I guess it wasn't terrible. It's just so 100 million percent not for me. This book is so flowery and purple in its writing. Like it was just like it was so sickening sweet which is the right I just couldn't I'm like oh my god I'm so fucking bored like I seriously didn't make it that far either I think I made it like what not even like 50 pages and I'm just like that's it I'm done I can't she used the word decolletage really really I mean I guess it does take place in the late 1800s but yeah if her other book is like this I'm definitely not picking it up it this book was 100% this is just not a book for me I just did not jive with her writing style at all or just no. 
So that was the whole point of the reading vlog was it was a, supposed to be my Night Circus reading vlog. After reading 50 pages, I decided to DNF it and unhaul it. And then I just decided, well, that would be a really short video, so let's just make this a normal um, reading vlog. And so that's what I did. It ended up being an entire reading vlog. Ugh, I'm really sad about it. But those are the only important things you need to know. DNF, read and loved five stars, still currently reading, and need to catch up. But that's it, guys. So other than that, I'm really sorry you didn't get my vlog. I'm really upset about it. I need to figure out some way to make this work. Like, either use my camera, which I don't like carrying around with me, like, when I go places, or do clips for my camera and my phone to where I don't need to take as much off my phone. Maybe that would work. I'll figure it out. Maybe I can get the vlog to post. I'll see what I can do. But if not, oh well. This is kind of like your little update of what you would have missed in the vlog, at least the good meaty bits. And please let me know in the comments down below what you would like for my Yay One Year on BookTube celebration, which is just a video of me doing what you guys want. So um, if you remember, if you do decide to choose Q&A, please leave a couple questions with that so that if that is what is chosen, I can do it. Other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.